Hello all. So in some of the previous tutorial, we have already done some image processing and uh, we are going to do more image processing and we'll be using images for other applications also. So one challenge that we are going to face is again converting this image data uh, to a format which can be used for simulation and uh, uh, testing it on hardware okay so previously we have done it i have used a bmp image and i have shown you how you can convert this bmp image into some header file format so that we can use it with our sdk uh, that was one technique that we used now uh, we cannot always use a bmp image for this purpose so we'll have all different kind of image for format maybe we have bmp we have tiff images we have jpeg uh, different format so uh, there should be some way to convert this uh, image data into some format so that we can directly use it for simulation okay so as an example here i have already written a code for rgb to gray grayscale conversion so i hope you know what it is so i have rgb data coming here through an axis stream interface and uh, each color component is 8 bit wide so that's why we have 24 total uh, r g b r is the uh, ls byte and g is the middle byte and b is the upper byte the output is only one byte uh, the grayscale equivalent again it's going as an axis stream interface okay and this is the approximate conversion from rgb to grayscale so this style we have already seen before now what i'm interested in is to simulate and check whether my code is really working okay for that i have written a test bench so the test bench he is basically reading from some file so here you can see like he's reading three bytes rgb values and he's just injecting that information to my ip and whenever data comes out of my ip which is the grayscale image that I am going to write to another file one byte at a uh, time. So remember, this is input is 24 bit, output is only 8 bit. And once I receive enough data, so I know what is the image size and all, I am taking uh, 512 by 512 image and it's RGB. So total uh, these many bytes are there. So once I finish uh, uh, getting the entire data, I will stop my simulation. This this header information is not there. now the question is okay how can i get this input file for simulation so again this is my input image my assumption is it is a binary file where data is stored in rgb order okay similarly this is my output file where the grayscale values are there and there should be some way for me to see this uh, file in image format also after simulation to check whether it really works or not so what i really have is uh, this file so i have a color image of lena this is 512 by 512 rgb image and it is in tiff format so this is again a different uh, image format but again image is stored uh, in uncompressed format so you can directly go and see uh, what is the content there so if I open it in my hex editor, so in TIFF, first eight bytes, they are the header part. Then we have the RGB part. So this is my first R, then G, then B. Okay. And here, uh, first pixel is the top left corner one. In BMP, it was the bottom left one. Okay. In TIFF, it is top uh, left one. Okay. So I can see my image here. Now, uh, if it is a TIFF image, actually you can remove this header and save it in a file and you can use it for simulation. Okay. But suppose it is a JPEG image, you won't be able to do it because the image is already in compressed format. So you cannot directly use it for simulation. So we'll have to use maybe MATLAB uh, to get uh, un uncompressed format. And using MATLAB, we have to write it to a binary file. Okay. So it's very straightforward. You can just redo and im read something equal to uh, your file name you can give and uh, 
now you have already read the data so you can see like your vital vital three that is the image data and if you check the uh, zeroth element from this you will see uh, the first pixel right so if i do like i111 so matlab it starts from index one actually i'd saying 226 which is actually e2 right yeah so let's see x e2 is 226 and second element if we do 112 you get 137 which is 89 in hex so on and so forth so it doesn't matter what is the image format matlab uh, he will always show you the bottom uh, the top left pixel first that also r value first then g then b in that order so it doesn't matter whether it is bmp tiff or uh, jpeg so we can use this property to generate the file for simulation okay so now you have tiff image if you want to write it to a binary file uh, after removing the header everything it's very straightforward you can open like uh, okay so let's call like out file equal to f open let's call my file dot in and we are saying it's opened in write mode f open okay now we can just write f write out file and i i want to store this image data there okay so he has already done it so if we go and see here we need to close the file also f close out file so that he updates it okay he updated and if you open it here you can see it's a binary file but the problem is here look at the image data it is a2 e28970 that is the first pixel but here you won't see it like that you'll just see an e2 here then it is again e2 so what matlab does is uh, he first stores all the r values so if it is a phi 12 by phi 12 image first he will store phi 12 by phi 12 values of r component then he will store phi 12 by phi 12 values of g component then phi 12 by phi 12 values of b component okay so matlab they are doing it like that because again this is a general way of storing matrices uh, so storing like this maybe is giving uh, certain advantages as far as matlab is concerned but our problem is we cannot directly use it for simulation now okay because we are expecting rgb but all these are just r value and again he is storing it uh, column wise so what i mean is uh, this e2 corresponds to this pixel top left this e2 correspond to the first pixel in the second line and this one first pixel in third line so on and so forth so he is storing like that that also he stores all the r values first then g values then b values that's how he is going to store it so we cannot directly use it for simulation so what uh, i have done is i have written some small script so i will put it in git you can also use it so this is that uh, script save image binary okay so what you have to do is you just have to give the size of the image here and here you have to say whether it is rgb or grayscale image because we can use the same script for rgb as well as grayscale so if it is rgb you put num color as three if it is a grayscale image you put num in color as just one okay so you just take script and give the name of the input file here doesn't matter any format uh, tiff for uh, bmp or jpeg png any format you just take this one and you just, just run it so it will generate this output file so here it is called lena color dot bin 
okay so we have this one here lena color dot pin and now if i open it you will see it is done properly so we have e2 8970 which is same as here e2 8970 okay so for simulation now you can use this file it's not a text file it is a binary file yeah in some cases you will see like people are using uh, text files also uh, that's also fine but uh, binary files are good enough so i have put it there now let me run the simulation okay run simulation and let me run it so here the output from simulation is called lena gray dot bin so again in this binary image we are storing data uh, row wise so the top left this will be first pixel this will be second pixel uh, row wise but for matlab if you want to read this binary image and display it on the screen he is expecting data to be vertically column wise okay so we again need a script which converts this output file into uh, the expected format of matlab so that you can actually see it okay so for that i will have a separate script file called this one view binary bind view image binary file this one so you take this one and you give your file name here lena gray and again size of the image so this image is again 512 by 512 we haven't changed the image size but num color is one now because we have converted rgb image into grayscale image in simulation uh, we want to check whether output is correct or not so if you're using any other image just change the name of the file here change the resolution here whatever it is and uh, if it is rgb to grayscale you will still have one here if the output is also rgb you should put three there and once you change it and if you put it here yeah, you will see the output properly okay so this is the output coming after rgb to grayscale conversion so the conversion is done in hardware okay but we are going to use matlab for view it so if you are using opencv again uh, the idea is similar the code will be more or less exactly same only the syntax will be changing and you can use the uh, same script more or less similar script for doing it okay so i hope these scripts will be useful for our future tutorials so uh, keep it handy thank you